everyone, Sigita here and I have a lot of scraps on my table today because I want to show you something with my scraps <laughs> but yeah, camera's battery is low um, okay, I will do something and then yeah, okay, I will try to divide it <clears throat> right, first I wanted to, to, to do a um, cover um, video on a next journal with Hessen. Uh, yeah, I remember that afterwards. So I kind of prepared on everything but I am uh, not making it I think today because one of the things I, I found I had uh, I want to put on a cover and that I have to put some varnish on so it needs to be dry so it's it is drying for a moment for at the moment so i'm not saying you why it is i will show you uh, probably tomorrow guys so that that uh journal cover then is going to be tomorrow but today we are going to use scraps because under scraps <laughs> i kind of fold it and you can guess what is gonna be envelope Right, so what we what we are going to do, I sealed this lovely paper, this is quite stickish, uh, like wrapping paper, it is matte and is a repurposed paper, repurposed, is it the right word for it, no, yes, recycled, recycled paper, kind of, and uh, it is matte and it's like a greyish brown paper. It's quite strong actually, so I, I, I do love it um, and I folded kind of envelope that way. Uh, size, if you want to know size of like envelope, it will be kind of eight and a half by six, right, a uh, mid envelope. It actually would fit in a journal, in a large journal. That's a good thing to know. Right, so what we are going to do is I uh, I glued the extra on because uh, it was not enough for a flap. So as you can see, I glued another, I folded it and I thought, oh, there is not enough for a flap. So I glued another piece on. That's completely fine because all that on the front we are going to cover. And as you can see, I have a lot of different, different uh, uh, scraps, and we are simply going to use them. And all that we are going to cover with scraps. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do. I'm going to like starting to glue. You all guys know how to glue scraps down. Uh, and just because my butter is low, I'm going to glue random without any, you know, thinking really. But I want a little bit of that paper to hang over the edge because uh, I want the flap not to be even. I want it like that. Okay? Right. Um, there is some, what's it? Another part. Uh -huh. Right, yes, yeah, so what I wanted to say is that uh, I will start to glue a little bit, okay, then I will switch camera off and I will charge the battery for a little bit and then I will finish gluing it down. So this is all you do. Afterwards will be some more steps. I think I don't know how that is going to look. 
because all that is just in my mind at the moment. I have seen somewhere, I don't know where, something similar. So I am trying to make, and this is fine uh, because we can make any size of envelope, any, because you always can add width or length or whatever you want to add to make it, you know, uh, larger. I am going to use gesso, you know, just in a case, I'm telling you afterwards, of course. We are going to use make grungy one. But if you don't want grungy one, you can leave like that. Okay. Because I am always been struggling with making a larger envelopes. Because I A4 there was always not enough, you know, because there is just, you know, uh, size as you have. And I don't know why I haven't thought about this earlier. Right, my lovelies, and in this, in this way, I am going to glue all these little bits down. Okay, so this one is even torn a little bit, but that's fine. And I think as well, we are not going to use sewing machine. <laughs> and yeah, I will show you that afterwards. Right, my lovelies, I will um, finish all gluing all this down. And I will charge butter a little bit for a few minutes, okay? Right, so I did glue everything down and looks like that. Okay, so um, what we are going to do next... We are going to use gesso. My last bit of gesso. Have to make some more. And afterwards I will have to dry so some noise will come. So sorry already for that. I don't want to cover like all. I just want to kind of grunge it up a little bit. If I turn it, it looks like that. Okay, we'll click, quickly dry a little bit. Grunge, 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 grunge comes with charcoal. <laughs> grunge comes with charcoal. So I'm just going around and I'm uh, going to use this time. Yeah, I'm going to use baby wipe, not my finger, just to smear it all over. Okay. 
Alright, where is the flock? This one is going to be flock. Alright. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I will s spray over. Again, uh, yeah, I had question about how do I seal my uh, past soft pastels. I am using hairspray. Uh, you can use varnish as well, of course, but very handy hairspray just because just because it's very cheap. Okay. I just uh, turned away from my table. I don't want to my table that um, surface get sticky very quickly. Right. That's done as well. Then we can do scribbles. Of course you can do scribbles. I don't I don't know where I uh, put my black Pen, so I just have grey, but never mind. So I'm just dipping in the water and let's make some scribbles. Mm -hmm. Am I in a frame actually? I'm just scribbling. That's really grungy now, right? I like it. Um, do I need some... Do, for To all that, do I still need some more color? What do we have here? What do we have here? I like actually that. Kind of pinkish. Wait. We can inter introduce a little bit of pink here as well. At soft pastel, look how nice it smears. So this is going to be in the front. Yep, I need some here as well to get some balance. And again, I have to use my hairspray. Mm -hmm. Just quick, quick run over. that lovely grunginess I still want to do one more thing I think um, I want to use my flower I want to use that stamp but you guys can use everything you want you can if you have sewing machine you can do some stitching all over the place but this time I will kind of I'm not avoiding stitching I will do afterwards but all I wanted to show you is that you can do without any sewing. Okay. This is very grungy. Back. So this is going to be back. And then this is going to be fun. I like when this is over. If you don't like it, you nicely cut it. And here as well. You nicely cut it off. I actually wanted to punch that. Okay, let's add in a half. I... How 
use that one. I mean, oh, it's a nice one. You can use that. Alright. Okay. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Right. Now we are going to think about closure. If you don't want closure, that's fine. Uh, but if you want one, then we are going to do this now. Uh, yes, we are going to join these sides together, but we are going to do that last. Joining a side together will be our last step. Right, uh, here I have some... It'll be okay. Um, or just simple coffee stain or that. So what I want to do now... I'm thinking because I can stitch by sewing machine, but because I mentioned now sewing machine, I can stitch it. I have a little bit of red. Just we are grabbing what we are having, you know, without really thinking. That will add some nice elements to our envelope as well. So you can do one big one or two or three stitches. You know how many you like. And if you have sewing machine, of course, oh, of course you can run over with sewing machine, but. This time it was about no sewing machine. Right. I'm a little bit rushing just because of time, you know. I don't want to make this kind of video too, too long. Right. I want something loose. But, right. And the same. We are going to do another closing. We are finding a place where we want to roughly like here. As you see, I'm not as you can see I'm not marking like really. I just I'm just like you know um kinda of connecting together without any measurements. And that's completely fine. So I need another thread. I'm not sure is this the same red or not. Oh, this is fine. But to oh, yeah. can thread it. Because this way we are able to add closure. You can add like a little button and loop or whatever closure or no closure at all and afterwards just tie around some, uh, you know, a ribbon or twine. It is completely up to you but somehow 
I wanted this time to sew on. So I'm using some really bright red axes. And by gluing, of course, all these scraps on, you are making that uh, envelope stronger. Right this way. <clears throat> and uh, oh, yeah. it's going to be like that. Can you actually see? Right. Let's see how it looks like. Maybe it doesn't work. Okay, look. Look at that. I love it. Right. So, and our last touch it is closing our sides. We are not going to just glue down here or sew down here. But we are going to do is I'm going to use a coffee stained fabric strips and what exactly I'm going to do I will glue it like that to close it why I'm using fabric strips are uh, simply and see how it, it, it adds more interest that's one uh, second because I think when you put a lot of things in this uh, fabric keeps it stronger for not uh, pulling that uh, side apart. But you can do exactly the same and put some paper strips on. That's completely fine. That's just my thought. You know, it could be stronger using a um, fabric strip. Right, I hope this glue now is going to work with me. Okay, time, time, time. Four minutes, guys. Can I do in a four minutes? So this is our last, last. So if I'm not gluing on second side, now at least you know how I am going to join them together like that all right and and i will leave it longer because i like it because i like uneven and now again is going to be up to you do you want now to see it's nicely all right it keeps and uh, and here if you put fabric is not tearing this this part here so that's why i decided to use a fabric strip so my lovelies thank you so so much oh this is not even so if not even you know you just cut it even that's fine all right you will see picture on my facebook profile and on instagram and please follow me on instagram it is Sigita 13 I will put link down below because I am using Instagram now much more than Facebook so yeah you can please follow me there and what's today it feels like Sunday for me oh my god I wish but you know saying that for me doesn't matter which day because you know i am not really going to work so i'm working every day uh, right and now yes i uh, did i say that that you can now leave as it is these strips or to go over a little bit with gesso to make like you know more cohesive all this envelope i like this way and i will leave it as i think is or shall i grunge it up no i think i will leave as it is otherwise it'll be too grungy 
and here as well you can go over with just so or a little bit with uh, like black ink or charcoal or whatever you like and that's we done hey yay i did it all right still is minute i think so thank you thank you my lovelies for watching something new for you here you go and you yes i said you can make any size because this is really really nice and i think maybe i will do some like inspiration envelopes big ones like that you know no fabric but like paper like this one i love it really nice okay my lovely thank you so much if you have any questions please ask and most likely see you tomorrow with that journal cover see you soon bye